There's just no denying the fact that drilling is boring. Microjig, maker of the gripper. Work safer, work smarter. Just thought you might want to think about that for a bit. I seem to have a lot of drill bits. Well, now I've got room for even more. I'll begin by squaring up all the pieces for the frame. I'm using my dado blades to cut a rabbit on each edge of each piece. I'll use my miter sled to cut the 45 degree mitered corners. I've made this box slightly wider than it needs to be to account for the amount of material that's going to be lost due to the thickness of the blade. I've set up this feather board to help keep this box pressed against the fence. Separating the lid from the base always makes me a little nervous because I only got one shot at it. There's also a part of me that has this weird feeling that I'm going to find a surprise inside the box when I separate them. With this side and this side cut, this corner tends to collapse in. So I'm gonna separate it with a piece of cardboard just to help keep everything square when I cut it. Now I'll put a spacer down here too to help prevent this piece from pushing in against the blade. This last cut, of course, will separate the two pieces, so I'm gonna give it a little extra support down here. So that came out pretty nice. The top actually gets flipped and will fit on this way. Now I'll cut out the thin strips for the dividers. When I was designing these plans, I measured out my drill bits and figured out the best size for these compartments. They may be a little bit different on yours, so if you're gonna use my plans, just take your own measurements and adjust it however it works best for you. Right now I'm setting all of these dividers into place temporarily, and I've marked where I want each of these blocks to be positioned so that I can figure out where I need to cut my finger notches. I'm not gonna get too fussy about where the finger notch goes. I know that it, I want it between this mark and the end of the divider, so I'm gonna estimate the middle right about there and then remove about this much. All right, now I can start to glue these in. I've cut these blocks to raise up the base a little bit for these tiny drill bits so that it'll be easier to reach them.
gonna use a magnet for a latch. And I'll finish the box with a few coats of spray lacquer. I remember walking into a market and asking myself, why are razors so expensive that they have to be locked inside acrylic cases? I knew that I had a mission in my life. I spent the next 27 years on a quest to find high quality razors that I could purchase for half the price. So I invented the internet, right here in my workshop, carefully crafting it out of wood and pocket screws. And people came with their cats. But then, just a few years ago, in my grandmother's Silicon Valley garage, a couple of guys started engineering razors. I knew those boys were onto something, so I personally financed them to the tune of $40. Unfortunately, $40 won't buy you a cup of coffee in the Bay Area. So they went on to form a company called Harry's, and that's how I get this close, comfortable shave every morning. For just $15, I got a razor handle shave cream and three of Harry's five blade German engineered razors. Don't a shame, baby. Take five dollars off your first order by clicking the link in the description of this video and entering the promo code woodworking at checkout. Thank you for joining me this week on Woodworking for Mere Mortals. If you'd like to make the drill bit storage case yourself, check down in the description for a free set of plans. And if this is your first time here, welcome. And please take a moment to subscribe. I post new woodworking videos every Friday on this channel. If you're just starting to set up a woodworking shop, please check out my shop projects playlist. That'll help you get started. And if you already have your own shop, you'll find projects there for you too. Thanks again for watching everybody. I'll see you next week.